As you can see right now, I have the Apple Vision Pro on and I'm gonna show you how to set up the ultimate workstation and all it takes is the Vision Pro, a MacBook, and an extra keyboard and trackpad. So come on, come on right in here with me. There you go, now you can see everything that I see. I am currently in my office. Let's go ahead and shut that door that was supposed to be closed. But we'll go around, I got my computer right there and I have a keyboard and trackpad right here. What's that for? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, look at that. I have a bunch of apps right in front of me. Let me close them and open them back up. So they're a little bit more centered. So there we go. This is Vision Pro. This is what you see when you are inside the app. Um, a lot of you have seen all this kind of stuff already. So let's just go ahead and move back to the computer. Oh, there's a connect button right there. Now, I already have a pretty cool setup. I really like this setup, but the Vision Pro just makes it even better. So go ahead and just tap that connect button because it feels good just to press out there. Now, you will notice when I did that, here's this amazing monitor that just pops up, but that's not it. The, the bad problem is, is that my other monitors do go off and that kind of bites and I need to clean my screen as you can tell right there. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and move this all the way over here and pop it in right there. Holy cow, how amazing does that look? Oh, hey, look, like I said, I got a keyboard and trackpad right here. Oh, and they're connected to my Mac, of course. So I can just move the mouse around and have access to everything. I don't even have to see my computer to be able to do this, but we're not done there because this is something I could set up if I had a really big TV screen. Like I could actually set something up like this. So this isn't enough because Vision Pro can do so much more. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look over here and I'm gonna open up the apps. And if I go, let's go to compatibility because I like to listen to podcasts. There we go. Let me just bring this in. This is about where I had it the last time I used it. So you'll notice I have this right here. I could hit play and listen to the podcast. It will play directly into my ears. You might not be able to hear it, but that's how it works. But I can go ahead and pause it so that way I'm not missing anything. I'm going to rewind it just a little bit just so when I come back to it after I make this video, I can actually finish this podcast because it's a really good one. If you haven't listened to Under the Radar and you're into app development at all, highly recommend this podcast. But, so I got one right there, but you know what? This looks a little empty, so let's go ahead and let's close that out. Let's go, where do we wanna go? Let's go focus work. So if I look over here, I tap that. Oh look, a nice little timer. Let me go back to timer drag this in, maybe drag it about right here. So now I have a way to keep track of my work. So the way this works is it gives me 25 minutes of work and then it gives you a break afterwards, which is really nice because we all need breaks, right? Well, what am I gonna do during that break time? Well, let's go right over here and Jetpack Joyride. If you haven't seen anybody do anything with this app, it is amazing. So we got Jetpack Joyride right over here. Now let's go over here. But before we do that, I'm currently in the basement in my home office. And it's kind of nice. I love it down here. It's usually pretty quiet, but I also don't know what's going on in the outside world, but I do have cameras. So let's go ahead and click right here, go back to the compatibility and under home, I can just open that up and look at there. I have access to cameras that are currently outside. I'm going to actually close this one and let's look at the front door. So right here, you can see, I can see everything going on outside at the front door. There is an actual package right here. That will be good to know. I need to go ahead and get that here soon. Um, I'm gonna drag this. It looks like it's taken a little bit of time to actually connect to this camera. There we go. Um, that That's just the way HomeKit works. That has nothing to do with Vision Pro. I'm gonna drag this up just a little bit so it's not so much in the background, open that back up. It will open in just a minute. Now we also have this area right here. Click on the X and right here, I want to use the messages app. Let's go ahead and open this up, go to something that I'm okay to show and we'll just leave it right there. That looks pretty good. Now, I got a couple different spots. That one's right there. Let's open up something else right here. I could do Safari. 
could do music, but I already got some other apps open. So we're just going to open up something as simple as the news app. Maybe I want to stay up to date on what's going on with the election. I do not. But we can go ahead and just kind of come in here and scroll through the news. Maybe there's some actual good news today. Probably not as well. And lastly, but not least, this is kind of like one of the coolest apps that just recently was made compatible with the Vision Pro, and that's an app called Screens. So let me go ahead and see if I can grab that down there and pull it just a little bit closer so it's kind of in front of everything. And I'm just going to connect to my Mac Mini. I get the option to do floating. I'm going to do the floating because I don't really want to see that at all times. Hit next, hit close, and there you have it. Like I have another Mac. So now I have one screen here. I go all the way around. I have another screen over here. And this, I'm like, I am surrounded by screens, which is just crazy. And to do this, all you need is the Vision Pro, a MacBook, and a keyboard and trackpad. And you can go anywhere. Like, that's all you need to pack with you. And you could go anywhere and have a setup like this completely surrounding you which is just insane. The ultimate workstation. But I wanna show you a little bit more of what all it can do because like I've already showed you, this mouse and keyboard right here is actually connected to the Mac behind me, but that's not all it can do. If I change focus and I look over here, you can see the trackpad move. So now I can actually interact with a Vision Pro app, but I can go all the way around. So now I'm interacting with my camera Oh look, there's messages. And now if I move over here, now I am actually using the trackpad and the keyboard from my MacBook and interacting with a computer that I am currently remote connected into. This computer is not even in the same room. It is in the same house. So we got that going for us. I can access all my old videos. This is kind of where I kind of store everything. Now this app isn't fully compatible with Vision OS just yet, but they are working towards it. So you can see like I can actually move the cursor with my finger as well, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, it's kind of wonky because it's looking at my eyes, it's looking at my hands, and I can also move it with the trackpad, which can also confuse it. So it's a little wonky, but it's still usable. And once again, I can come over here and get over here on the news and I can scroll through however I want. It's just crazy. Like it's completely insane. Let's go ahead and just start this timer, let it run. And I can just go ahead and open up Xcode. Xcode is an app that I use for developing and I can just run it right here on my Mac on this beautiful screen, which you don't fully get, like you don't fully understand just how amazing this screen is. But, and you may be wondering, but it's like, man, your view kind of bites, right? You're like surrounded by all your office stuff. Doesn't the Vision OS, the Vision Pro do more than that? Well, yes, it does, of course. So I can go anywhere I want. And just like that, now I'm in the Himalayas. I can pinch, oh, don't, don't close it. Pinch, move that over, look at this view. This is amazing. I can still see my hands, mostly. It looks like my ring is kind of messed up. But I am surrounded by the Himalayas with all these screens connected right here in front of me. Now the only problem with this is my desk is right here. You can see the keyboard right here. I'm one of those people that need to be able to see to type. Like I just can't focus. Like I don't, I don't have to do it. But if I can't, if I know I can't see it, then I'm just not going to be able to focus at all on the fact. Like, I don't have to look, but if I know I can't see it, it just messes me up. But you can just turn this down just a little bit. Like, I'm just going to keep trying to get it to the right setting. So now I can still see the keyboard, but I still have about half the Himalayas. I wish it would just fully submerge all this as well. It looks like something happened with the VNC right here. I'm sure it will come back up eventually. But this is just amazing that this could be my workstation right here. Beautiful view, sky. Don't look at the light right there. That looks crazy. But oh, 
I love this. You have no clue how much. This is the only reason why you should ever get the Vision Pro, in my opinion. I know other people would tell you, you can watch movies, you can do all this other stuff. But this right here, like you can't beat this. I could just work all day long on this. And let's say, you know, okay, I got 24 minutes left, it looks like. I want to go ahead and take a break right now. I told you I'd show you how Jetpack Joyride actually works. Everything goes away. I'm going to go ahead and look at the OK, because I'm going to be fully submerged in this game. Look at this. Everything all around me. Go ahead and start some music, which I don't think you'll actually be able to hear, but it's just all around. All I have to do is pinch to interact. I can turn the TV on, mess with the lights, and just by what I look at, go ahead and start those. How cool is this? Pick up the phone and dial something? Like, I can even, like, I don't know. It doesn't look like that interacts. I can change the picture, hit the start button somehow, make that stuff go that way. There we go. So now everything's going that way. If I drag it the other way, it's just crazy. And when I'm done playing the game, I come back out and everything is almost as I left it. So it looks like a couple things got moved around. A couple things. I think that's mainly because of the way I came out of it. I was looking an opposite way. But overall, like, I mean, I can get this set back up super fast. Doesn't take any time at all. And it is just the best. But I am very curious. Does this video interest you at all in the Vision Pro? Is it something you could see yourself using? And would you like to see a second version of the Ultimate Setup? Because I could even take this further than what I did in this video. So let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this video, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless.